and welcome to Grandad Reviews. Today I thought we'll have a look at the Zion Transmount Servo Zoom Focus Controller Max for the Weebull Lab. Um, got the Weebull Lab, um, we'll show fitting the unit to the Weebull Lab and the use of it with and set up with a Samyang manual focus lens as the Samyang's got hard stopped on the end of each focus range so it actually stops, it won't go any further and I'll show you something to be careful of when setting that up and also on the Fuji native lens um, which is focused by wire where the focus ring actually goes round and round I've already fitted one of these geared uh, rings to it it's a little bit fiddly but not too hard to do. So we'll get to that and have a look. Right, let's see what we get in the box. This is the box. Inside we get instructions. And a little packet which comes with another Geared ring. And underneath here, you get all the bits and bobs. So we've got mounting bar, rod, thumb screw, USB C cable and the actual motor itself. Nothing else. So there's all the bits. All we've got to do is put them on the camera. Let's have a go. Right, now what we've got to do is fit the bits. So, first part we're going to fit is this mounting plate using the screw on that and it's going to mount on one of these two mounting holes here I'm going to have the motor on this side so take this one and we put it just there like so and yeah I've got a little bit of movement on it but not much Yeah. We can have it out that way or into there, so I'll have it into there. Block that off. Next thing we need to do is the rod. So I'm going to put the rod there. Lock the motor off. And now we've got the rod on there. Have to do is mount the motor. Put that on. We need to get these teeth aligned. Uh, drop the teeth in. in the middle. And just let it drop into it. Don't push into it. And just nip that up like so. So that's the motor attached. Here yeah, we've got USB cable. The one end goes in here, like so. And the other end goes in this port here. If you look underneath, it says focus control. So that one goes in there. Just like that. And we're in. So now what we've got to do is rebalance it. The first one we're going to do lock that motor off is this one here. And so you want to balance it so that it actually stays where you point it. Mm. Ah. That's 
not too bad at all. Excellent. Now, uh, lock that one off and just try this one. So that one wants to stay. So it's dropping that way. So we need to move it left to right. And that's how this one underneath here. So I'll just loosen that one off. that one done. Then you need to do this one down here. Two is lifted up. Move that. And that one's pretty good. So now it's balanced. Now if we switch the gimbal on. And then the gimbal's on. So we've got the little light flashing. It's flashing slowly, it means that uh, it's operating correctly. If it's flashing really fast, it means it's doing a firmware upgrade. And if it's solid, it means a, an error. So you can see, as I turn the wheel, And this is what you've got to be careful of. If you don't set the end stops, when it gets to the end, it keeps going. As you can see. And it sounds really bad. So right, what you need to do is set endpoints for the actual motor. So we go into the menu, go down to wheel, go down to a, B points, we've got the max version, so go into that. So A wants to be your first point, so we're going to turn the wheel until I'm at infinity. That's okay. And then go to B, we turn it the other way. Till it's at, it's close to focusing. Is there? Press that one. And we're done. Come back out. The other settings in here or here on the wheel is sensitivity. So how quick you actually want the wheel to move the lens. So low, medium, and high. I'm going on medium at the moment. Your AB point, we just set priority whether it's being used by the handle or external, which will be the app or not controlled at all. So you can switch it off so you don't accidentally knock that. And then you can reverse the direction control wheel so it goes the opposite direction. So now with the endpoint set, turn the wheel all the way around the end. I can keep turning the wheel and the motor stops without the judgery trying to overdo it and same to the other end, it stops. So with these lenses that have got hard stops, make sure you set the end A and B points uh, because the motor wants to keep going and it'll judder and jump and feels like you're breaking the lens in the lens mount so just be aware of that one thing I want to check is does it remember it after you switch the gimbal off so we'll power the gimbal down and the gimbal's off now let's power it back on and the gimbal's powered up and let's see if it's remembered the points nope so I don't know if that's a uh, fault with the software or a bug. It obviously doesn't remember your endpoints once you switch the gimbal off. So I'll have to reset them. Right, so with the endpoints set, obviously, as you can say, turn the wheel, gets to the end, to that hard stop, won't go any further. And again, 
the other way so we don't get the, the juddering and the jumping around that the uh, motor wants to keep going. Right, uh, different speeds we've got. So this is low, so a lot of turns. There. This is medium. And then we'll go to so this is high. Right, and then it follows the movement of the wheel every little move and quickly rack focus so that's those settings and that's how to set it up on a manual lens I say you've got to set those hard stops because as soon as you get to the end if you try and keep going any further it, yeah it's very scary what I'm going to do Let's see if it's remembered those hard stops. Let's switch the gimbal off, switch it back on. Right, has it remembered them? Gets to the end. Go the other way. Nope. So as soon as you turn the gimbal off, it loses the end points. So it's what you're going to have to reset each time on your lenses. All right, next we'll have a look at native Fuji lenses. Right, now we've got a native Fuji lens on. Uh, I'll put the motor on the other side uh, because of the uh, gearing and I've had to raise the camera up because of the gear on this one. But obviously with this one, the focus ring goes continuous around and round and round and round so what we need to do is set the endpoints on this one but to do it what we're going to have to do is use the scale on the back of the camera so right what we need to do is set the endpoints for the actual lens but first off you've got to make sure that in the main menu, under the wrench, go down to button and dial settings, and all the way down, and where it says focus ring operation, you need to be on linear, so that no matter how fast you move the actual focus ring, it moves the same distance on the lens. Well, that's the theory. So, as before, as you can see with the little line, get that to your infinity, set that as your B point, go all the other way to its minimum focus, which on this one is just under four inches, set that as your A point, and as you turn the lens ring, when it gets to your presets stop, motor stops. So you've got your infinity there and the closest focus there. So then you can focus these lenses. And I'll just check that one I think is a, a bug. If we turn the gimbal off, turn it back on. The gimbal's on now. Let's see if it's remembered the uh, stops. And no. So you're going to have to redo them each time. So, one other thing you can do with this is with the actual play app, if you click the circle. You get controller for the you can turn it on the app. So 
handy for if you want to uh, just focus while you're in front of the camera or if you've got somebody else walking at the side just in focus for you obviously with the Fuji you can't transmit the picture so you'll need a screen but if you've got like a Sony or a Canon or a Panasonic then obviously you've got the image on the screen and you can uh, adjust it so yeah there we go that's the uh, Zion Follow Focus system on the Weeble Lab uh, I think it's going to be useful um, and I think hopefully Zion will do some firmware updates and uh, iron out the bugs especially on this A and B I think it needs a memory that it can remember I know if you change lenses you're going to have to change the A and B point but I don't want to put the gimbal down, switch it off, switch it back on and A and B points have gone on that lens um, I'll give it a test out and about and see what it, I feel like it's like then Right, if you like the video give it a thumbs up, if you didn't give it a thumbs down if you want to see more videos like this hit the subscribe button, if you want to be notified hit that bell button Till next time, see you later.